Hey everybody, welcome to day 125 Reseller Reflections, a day in the life of a full-time reseller supporting her family. Yeah, it's Friday, October 11th, 2024, and it's another day in the life of a full-time reseller. So um, today I would like to talk about thinking small, and it might not be what you think. Okay, so it harkens back to The Slight Edge, which is a book we read every first quarter of the year in our Sea Chats book club. The link is in the show notes below, but check out some videos we have on YouTube. I will also link those up in the show notes uh, where we do a, like a synopsis of the book and, and what we learned. So I'm going to link up especially the one from where we reviewed The Slight Edge two years ago. And... Um, Go ahead, watch it. Maybe it will give you some idea if you'd like to join us going forward because January, get ready, get the book now, get ready, give yourself that present, get ready to change your life. It is, it's phenomenal and it's easy to read, very easy to read. The concepts behind it are easy to implement and it's all about the small decisions we make every day day that put us on the path to success or put us on the path to failure, right? Like big things do not happen overnight. Um, you know, big accomplishments, they are the sum of all those little things we do day in and day out. Today was an awesome day to remind myself of that because I just didn't feel like it. It was another one of those days where I just lost my listing mojo. I just didn't feel like it. So I did the bare minimum. And that's okay. That is perfectly fine. There are going to be days like that. But I still did those small little actions that are building success. So think about that. Those seemingly insignificant little choices we make every day add up. They compound. Think of like compound interest. It, it makes a big difference. So the thing about skipping a day or missing a day or, you know, taking a week off is it from those little things is it breaks our momentum. It's not that we're going to see a big, you know, shift, a big change. It's that loss of momentum, right? You think, oh, I'll start again on Monday. Oh, I'll start again in the first of the month. Oh, I'll, and you just keep, you lose that momentum. Whereas if you do it every day, you have the momentum, you just keep going. You don't have to think about it. So think about those small little things. The other thing I want to think small about is, is this little quote. This was our quote today. Acknowledge all of the small victories. They will eventually add up to something great. Acknowledge all of the small victories. So earlier this week, we talked about celebrating, celebrating big wins, celebrating small wins, and how that makes you stronger. It motivates you. I linked up a video earlier in the week. Maybe I'll just link it up again for motivation. Maybe, heck, maybe I'll watch it again. <laughs> and yeah, so those little things, like those little victories we need to celebrate, those little day in and day out tasks that we that we do that may seem insignificant, or those little actions we make, or those little decisions we make every single day add up. Takes a while to see it. Doesn't happen overnight. That's why we get into that whole um, plant, cultivate, harvest. We're cultivating. Most of the time is cultivation. The plant and the harvest are pretty, they're far apart. And <laughs> it can be frustrating because we live in a world of immediate gratification. But remember, you know, remember the cultivate piece. Remember where you are right now. And you're probably in a cultivation period because most of us are. And because that's the one that lasts the longest, that's the one that we we so often forget and we just want to get to the harvest. We can't harvest without the cultivation, all those little, little tiny things we do every single day. All right. Like one of those things, you know what I'm going to say is that we reset to zero every day. So my workspace is clear. My items are shipped out and I'm ready to enjoy my weekend with my friend. So all right. And it feels good, right? Like, I feel like that's not going to be like, I'm not going to be thinking about that because 
I reset to zero. So joining me on this challenge are Jill of Rusted Truck Relics, Jason the Santee Swapper, Char, Fabulous Flamingos, Kathy, Kathy Sings, Nick, Mr. C Chats, Vanessa, Brightest Holidays, the Diabetic Reseller, Judith R, and Pam of Whimsy and Such. Great job, guys. Reset for the weekend. Make it happen. So worth it. That little decision that you've been making every single day, I'm sure has you in a much better place. I do need to mention sales. I think we were about $20 away from our sales goal today, which, oh gosh, so close. And after a couple of days of not hitting the sales goal, I think the week is, I think the week we're not going to hit the week because it's just been too many days in a row, not enough big sales, but we will see. There have been a lot of really small sales. And I've been hearing people talk about this, this kind of trend this week, this week and last week, like a lot of sales, but low dollar value sales, which is fine. Keep the algorithm happy, keep stuff moving. And, you know, eventually people will come back and make those bigger purchases. Yeah, they definitely will. All right, <laughs> everybody have an awesome Friday night and I will see you tomorrow on day 126 of Reseller Refuck reflections. Remember, think small. It's not always about thinking big. It's not always about that heroic action. And watch our video on motivation. Watch our video on the slight edge and maybe even join us next time. All right. Bye-bye.